Welcome to the ClearPath ePortal Developer 4.1 Capabilities Demonstration. This video is part of a series of videos on ePortal Developer for modernizing ClearPath applications. This video explains the steps to orchestrate the message flow between the ClearPath server application and presentation application. Let's get started. To go over the orchestration process, we should have created a data source project. The COBOL eBank data source project we have selected points to an eBank application. You can notice the server and corresponding client messages in the ePortal message window which have to be orchestrated. Please keep in mind that when we create a presentation project using a data source, each client message will result in a corresponding web page. First, we have to create a start page. In ePortal message window, right-click on the Client Messages node. Then click New. It will open the Add New Client Message dialog. Enter Home as name of the client message and click OK. Notice that a new client message got added under the Client Messages node. Now we need to configure what content will come on the corresponding web page Double click to open the home client message for editing. Once we are in the message editor, click on the toolbox toolbar button. There are a number of ePortal message variables that you can add to a message. Double click the string variable. It will add a field name, field1. Click on field1 and in its properties page, change the ID value from field1 to choice to reflect the intent of the page. Next, we need to add the list of choices which will be available to user on the home page. Change the property control style value to link button list. This will generate a control on the web page which consists of a series of hyperlinks. Click the collection browse button labeled with ellipses which is available for property list items. It will open the list item collection editor window. Here we will add the choices. Click the Add button to enter the choices for the home page. View Account Balances. With value as Get Accounts. And Transfer Funds. With value as Transfer Funds. When user selects a choice and submits the page, the corresponding value will be used to navigate to the next step. Click OK to finish adding the choices. Let's save the changes by clicking File, Save Home dot EPREC. Now we have all the messages to perform the message orchestration. So let's click the Open Orchestration button. This opens the orchestration window. Notice the On Client Session Start node. The On Client Session Start node is an event handler which runs when the application first starts. Under its Start node, you can see that a connection activity is already added by default. We want first the home page to be displayed to the user. So let's drag the Home Client message and drop it on the Start node of the On Client Session Start. This creates a reply action to return the home page. A reply action presents a web page to the user which corresponds to the client message. In this case, ePortal Runtime will return a page to the user where the user can select the choices available on home page. Now, we need to control the navigation based on what option the user selected on the home page. Now drag the client message home from the ePortal message window onto the root node of the orchestration. This will create an onClient.home node. The onClient.home node is an event handler which runs when the user submits the home page. We will add the actions based on choice values under its start node. Open the toolbox window if it is not visible. There are multiple activities that could be performed for an event. For the start node of an onClient.home event, let's drag and drop the IF activity. Now double-click the IF activity to open the Edit Condition window. 
we can select the items from the data items window to specify the condition. Let's expand the client node, then home, and then select choice. Click the paste button at the bottom. Now click the equal to equal to button and type get accounts. Click OK to add this if condition. Next, we will drag the communicate activity invoke server on the then node. Here, we are specifying what server message should be sent when user selects the option view accounts balances. Keep the selection on the node invoke server under then node and in its properties window select Bufin get accounts from the send drop down box. Bufin get accounts is the server message which ePortal runtime will send to the server application when user selects the view accounts balances option. Next, drag else from the toolbox window onto the then node. Under this else node, we will configure what to do if user option is other than view accounts balances. In this demonstration, there is only one other option which is transfer funds. We will drag the client message Bufin transfer funds on this else condition. This creates a reply action. In this case, ePortal Runtime will return a corresponding page to the user where the user can enter the fund transfer details and submit the page to transfer the funds. Let's recap the orchestration steps we have added so far. We created a start page called Home page with two choices. If choices get accounts, ePortal Runtime invokes server message Bufin get accounts. Server application will return the accounts out server message. Because of map and forward behavior, ePortal Runtime picks the corresponding client message accounts out, transfers the values from server to client message, and then returns a corresponding page to the user. If choices transfer funds, ePortal Runtime, instead of invoking a server message, will reply a page to user which corresponds to client message Bufin transfer funds. So far, we have orchestrated the message flow for two choices on home page. Now the next step is to perform the orchestration steps that should happen when user interacts on the response to the home page choices. The first response page simply displays information to user, so we will take the user to the home page. Drag and drop the accounts out client message on the root of the orchestration window. Next, on the start node of this newly added on client.accounts out, drag and drop the home client message. This will cause ePortal runtime to reply home page when user submits the accounts out page. We will not add any specific orchestration steps when user submits on the response page for Bufin transfer funds client message. Since the map and forward behavior is configured, first the ePortal runtime will copy the information the user entered on the web page from the Bufin transfer funds client message to the corresponding Bufin transfer funds server message. Then the ePortal runtime will automatically send the Bufin transfer funds server message to the server application. In reply to Bufin transfer funds message, server application will return confirm out server message. Again, map and forward behavior will play its role. Confirm out message will be mapped to corresponding client message and ePortal runtime will return corresponding page to the user which shows fund transfer confirmation. Fund transfer confirmation page will have just information, no input fields. When user submits it, we would like to display the home page. So again, let's drag and drop the confirm out client message to the root of orchestration window and then drag and drop the home client message on its start node. One last step is to initialize and hide the transcode field in Bufin messages. Double click the Bufin get accounts server message to open it in message editor for editing. Select the transcode node. In its properties page, select the initial value as get accounts from the drop down. Then set the visible property value to false. Similarly, double click the Bufin transfer funds message, select the transcode node. 
In its properties page, select the initial value as transfer funds from the drop down. Then set the visible property value to false. Please note that when we save the changes in the server message, corresponding client message will be automatically updated. Here we have shown how to specify the message flow for a sample eBank application using the ePortal Orchestration tool. Using the same techniques, one could specify the message flow for their legacy ClearPath OS 2200 application. This completes the demonstration. Unisys offers a comprehensive set of ClearPath services to enrich the value of your ClearPath applications, data and systems. Please contact your Unisys representative for more information.